Welcome to my first steaming of 2009 and uh, to kick off the new year we have my new Walesco D14 and uh, I have this one connected to my number one workshop which is being, uh, have, have, we have a set of four 1950s tools being driven by a pair of mammaled line shafts. This one's just got steam up. As you can see I've taken delivery of a bulk purchase of uh, Esbit tablets and uh, determined to get this engine sort of running and uh, displaying its capabilities. And as you can see it's performing the job with great ease. It will probably run both workshops, but uh, just to start off, uh, we just sort of see how it gets on running, running just the uh, just the one on its own. You can hear the little hammer knocking away in the background. This workshop is normally run by uh, a 1950s SE3 and uh, sort of an early 60s MM1. Uh, sorry, MM2 which as you can see is uh, quite well used, very warm uh, run in rather and uh, it'll run this workshop on its own quite easily with the SE3 as well it does tend to run away with itself um, the workshop is connected by a couple of contrast gears sort of acting as a sort of a detachable um, section so I can run these two tools on their own and those two on their own as well you could have them run independently by the two different uh, steam engines then. Back to the D14, you can see it's still wobbling around that chimney a little bit and I've sort of discovered there's too much lateral play on that, on the flywheel. I haven't found a grub screw which enabled me to loosen that flywheel and make sure it's a bit of a more snug fit. So it might, uh, I think it's an interference fit, so it might need a little bit of uh, Twisting. I don't want to break anything, though, so uh, in case of it ain't broke, don't fix it at the moment. And you can see it's really uh, turning out the reds now, and you can always tell because the hammer goes a lot, lot faster. And uh, it's running very, very well indeed. I had no worries that uh, it wouldn't uh, be up to the task. But, uh, punchy little engine, pubs, uh, punches uh, drives well above its weight I think uh, it's essentially it's the same engine as a D455 or even um, a 405 tractor and uh, as you can see it's uh, performing this with no problem at all you can see it's driving on to the end of that line shaft there on a pulley the very big sprocket I use sometimes for chain driven stuff for very small engines to give them a very big mechanical advantage so that they can turn over quite fast and not sort of potentially stall trying to turn this little lot over a fine plume of smoke coming from uh, the stack and as we see the, uh, the D14 is going very very well indeed all these tools on this workshop are from around about 19, the mid 50s. So they've all got the original um, wheels, uh, the old style oiling points for the plane shaft bearings. They all came in white boxes, which were discontinued in 1957 or thereabouts. Uh, you see an early grinder as well with the red and the green grip wheels. And um, the line shafts are both from around about the sort of the one on the right from certainly from the mid 50s the one on the left is a little bit later from the mid 60s because it's got a pop riveted base on it This is the wheel that I'm after for one of my line shafts. I've put a thread up on the um, up on the forum. But, uh, alas, still haven't managed to get one yet.
So there you have it, the Walescu B14, powering the Mammold number one workshop, first steaming of 2009, and um, a nice enjoyable day to uh, round out the holiday by uh, getting one of the engines to uh, put on a fine display for everyone.